Yo, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to get the animated gold camo in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. You may have noticed in my how to get all the camo challenges video uploaded a few days ago that my gold camo had a purple lightning animation flowing through it in the creative class menu. The purple lightning is visible in pre-games and a lot of people are wondering like what the heck is that? Why is your gun glowing purple? And I personally thought it was a glitch at first but it's actually an intentional secret upgraded gold camo and I'm just going to call it like the, the animated gold camo. Uh, there's actually not one but two animated gold camos that you can unlock so here is how you do it and also the titan lmg is one of the best guns in the game right now i want to mention that but i'll talk about that afterwards because i know you guys want to learn about how to unlock this purple camo so first things first you have to have the gold camo unlocked that's a given if you don't know how to unlock gold camo i'll link the video on the cards right now probably in the descriptions that i did and how to get every single camo in the game all different challenges you need to know so go check that out once you have the gold camo you can actually unlock the orange animated gold camo, which comes before the purple animated gold camo. To get the orange camo, you have to get a triple kill in a multiplayer match. After that triple kill medal pops up, give the game a couple seconds and your gun will all of a sudden start animating. You have these little digital orange line animations uh, flow throughout your gun and it kind of spices the gun up and makes it look pretty awesome. For the purple animated gold camo, what you have to do is get a fury kill, which is four rapid kills. And you have, you probably have like a, a one second in between each kill to rack up these kills. So you have like, you know, four or five seconds to get a total of four kills, which is it's what I figure, give or take a few like milliseconds or whatever. But the purple camo is just like the orange camo. You wait a couple seconds after the last kill and your gun will start animating some purple digital lines, which signifies to everyone that you're an absolute beast. And these camos do stack. They don't stack on top of each other, but say in a match you get a triple kill first, your gun will start animating orange. And if you get a fury kill later on in the match, the purple will take over the orange camo and will stay purple throughout the remainder of the match. That's right, once you unlock the animated camo, it does last throughout the entire match. But it is only unlocked for that match. Once you start a new match, you will start off with the normal gold camo, the unanimated gold camo. And once you get that triple kill or the fury kill, it will unlock the animation again. But again, it's on a per match basis, so it'll go away once the match is over and you have to unlock it again in the next match. Which I find this pretty cool. It's a continual challenge that shows off that you got skill, adds more depth and longevity to the game. And I'm going to assume purple is the highest animated camo you can get right now since that is what it shows in the menu but who knows maybe there's a lot more different little animations you can get with the camo there could be like one for getting a 25 gun streak again who knows the game is like not even a week old and there's a lot of things to discover i also want to note that the gold camo so this is a little bit wonky on the kill counters i've gotten the triple kills usually there's no problem with that but for some of the fury kills or the fury medals i'll have the metal pop up but the animation doesn't kick in uh, I feel it's because I didn't get the kills quick enough. So if that happens, try to get the fury kill faster. And if you do die before the animation starts, I've noticed that the camo will not start animating. You have to stay alive the second or two seconds before the camo can start animating, so it'll stay with you throughout the remainder of the match. I've tried to squeeze fury kills out several times in some gameplays, and I died trying to get that last kill and I respawn and the camo won't start animating. But if I do stay alive, then camo starts animating, then you're good to go. So yeah, that's how you get the animated gold camos. And apparently the diamond camo has similar upgrade features. I'm going to assume dark matter does too. So I'm excited to see what those are when I unlock them. But if you do need help getting some triple kills or fury kills, I recommend you use the Titan. I want to take a minute to talk about this weapon real quick because it is really 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 good it's an lmg and people usually a lot of people tend to stray away from lmgs they tend to go to assault rifles maybe some smg so i want to make sure you try out this titan if you haven't given it a shot yet it is an lmg meaning it has a lot of ammo it has like 50 75 ammo in the clip i think which is a lot and the thing that's awesome about this is it has virtually no recoil, similar to the ICR-7, which I did a gold camo gameplay video on the other day, and you should check it out again. Links in the cards. 
great gun with like no recoil, but the Titan has a much higher damage profile. It's actually more similar to like the ACR from Modern Warfare 2 because it has a low recoil and it kills really, really quickly. It kills in like three to four shots, it seems like, and has a faster time to kill than the ICR and most other weapons in Black Ops 4 right now. The other night, I was like going for gold for my ICR gameplay video and I was just getting destroyed by Titans and outgunned by them even though I was getting my shot off on the enemy first. It's just a really good LMG and seems to like out kill all the other weapons. The only downside is that you maybe maneuver a little bit slower, run a little bit slower because it's a heavier weapon. But besides that, I mean, if you haven't given it a try, I definitely would recommend you give it a shot. My friends even picked it up a couple nights ago and I was like, dude, this thing's amazing. They're like, why are you using an LMG? The LMG sound I'm like, yo, dude, this is actually amazing. And they even ended up loving it. Uh, if you played Black Ops 3, the Titan is kind of like the Dingo in a way that it's an LMG with a lot of benefits and it kills quickly, it's easy to use, it has very little drawbacks to it. So give it a try, try to go for gold camo on it first, let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments, but that is how you get the animated orange and purple gold camos in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and the Titan is amazing. Let me know what you guys think about the camos down below in the comments. If you have any questions, I will answer them. But if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future gaming and Call of Duty content. While you're at it, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Links are down below in the description for 10% off control freaks as well as into the AM apparel. You can also find other goodies down there like my Amazon Associates link. Links to all the gear I use to record and produce videos and fun things like that. But again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name is Skate. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.